Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elise Andrews and I make new videos every Tuesday talking about my postgrad stresses, successes, and creative endeavors. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you on a bit of a studio tour. I had to move home this spring before graduating and I had to kind of set up a studio space to finish up my art major. And ever since then, I've really transformed that corner in, of my room into a really functional, fun place to make art. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of the space and also show you some of the materials that I've been using a lot. So let's get into it. All right, so yeah, here we go. Here is my desk with some of my kind of basic supplies on it. There's my cry cut machine um, that I'm taking you over to the shelf that I have. And yeah, this is pretty much the main like kind of corner of my studio where I get my work done. And underneath I have some extra supplies. Um, like I mentioned, here's my cry cut machine. I use it to make stickers sometimes. Here are some brushes and pens that I also keep on my desk all the time. They're really great. And now underneath here is where I keep some more supplies. Um, and then here's my chair. I really like it. I'll probably link it in the description. I just got it. And yeah, there's your little overview of my workspace. So these are the supplies that I keep around my desk all the time because I use them the most. So here we go, unloading all of my supplies that I generally keep on hand most of the time. Um, first we have the Turner acrylic gouache that I just bought. It's really awesome. I really like it. It's definitely interesting to use. I also have this watercolor sketchbook, which is really useful for using gouache and watercolor and ink whenever I do some drawings and paintings with that. And then here's my sketchbook. I got it from Pentalic. It's literally my favorite brand and they're kind of out of business now and I'm very sad about it. So please come back. But yeah, here's some of my drawings that I've done. And then here is my Caran d'Ache Neocolor 2 watercolor. They're like water soluble crayons. They're awesome. For illustration, here's my Arches watercolor block, which is really cool and great for being on the go. I have a butcher tray, which is what I use for watercolors and paints. And then I have the Crayola Super Tips markers, which are awesome for again, journaling, illustrating. Here's a bucket of pins and brushes. Um, this is a watercolor brush that has like this water basin in it, which is useful. And then I also adore Faber-Castell, these pit artist pens. They're like the main things that I use. I'll also link those in the description. And yeah, brushes, don't know much about them. I just use watercolor brushes. So yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> I just got this new dish for my watercolors and paints. It's very nice and my water container Here's a little kit that I also have of um, all of my watercoloring and kind of gouache supplies. First, we have some Daniel Smith watercolors. These are like amazing, very high quality, just really good watercolors. I'd highly recommend them if you're interested in building up your personal watercolor collection. Um, these are some watercolors I got like in high school. They're Angora and I really love this palette. It served me well over the years. I also have this really bad India ink that I actually just threw away because I bought new ink. And this is my other set of design gouache, which I stole from my school and I need to give back. Um, couldn't help it. I just was, I had to go home and yeah. Underneath here, we have a sheet of Bristol board or some Bristol board. I've got some other art I need to put away. I've got a trash can. Um, I have this light tracer, which is really great, and this easel and some extra tape and stuff. And here's what I keep on my shelf. Now up here, I have two boxes, which are for different art supplies. I've got a lot of hoodies and sweatshirts, um, some books, some about design, some extra supplies, and yeah. So yeah, here's some books that I have and some old journals. Uh, and then the other one, I have some sketchbooks. Um, over here, I have some boards of masonite, which are great. Um, and here I have some just extra supplies, kind of paper and panels for me to draw on if I need them. In here I have some smocks and some my business cards and embroidery materials. And then in here I have all of my sticker supplies and things for my cry cut.
And down here, I just have old tech stuff. Peep the flip camera, very nice. Up here is where I keep all of my drawing and painting supplies that I don't really use as often, but I need to keep around. I also have this box for storing all of my stickers that I've made. I really need to get into business with my Etsy shop and put it to use. Um, now I have these two containers. One is for painting materials, which is on the right, and then the left one is my drawing materials that I don't really need like right away, but I just keep them on hand, kind of up there in case I need them. This is all my acrylic paints, my oil paints I've barely ever touched. <laughs> Some Mod Podge, love it. Um, and then in this one, I have like a lot of rulers and some Prismacolor markers and just charcoal and other things that I don't use all that often, but I like to have. Now in my closet, another part of my studio, I have these canvases that just chill on the side near my dresses. We've got the mountain of sketchbooks in the corner. And this is pretty much all of my art in these bags and um, these fabric portfolios. So. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and please hit subscribe if you would like to see more of my content. Hit like if you liked this video and I'll see you on Saturday for the next episode of The Draw Pod, which is my visual podcast, or I'll see you on Tuesday for my next video. Bye.